Hello and welcome to the Innovation Games here at Sydney Olympic Park, which is part of National Science Week. I'm your host, Lee Constable, science communicator and of course, science commentator. Today, we're about to watch the egg toss, which of course is an important experiment and event involving Newton's laws of physics. To take us through this event, we have Nathan and Matthew over at Cathy Freeman Park. So let's head over. Hey guys, I'm Matt Jilks. I play cricket for the Sydney Thunder and I'm a wicket keeper batsman. Uh, g'day guys, I'm Nathan McAndrew and I'm a bowler with the Sydney Thunder. Uh, today, Matt and myself are going to be doing the egg toss challenge. So we're going to be throwing an egg to each other, starting really close and see how far back we can go without it breaking. Uh, yeah, you can try this at school or at home using an egg, a golf ball or a cricket ball. So while we're doing this experiment, uh, we're going to be trying, to, trying our best to use soft hands. Uh, you don't want to be snatching at the ball, so we're just going to keep our hands as soft as we can to hopefully not break the egg. Alright, let's get stuck into it. Matt and Nathan are not strangers to throwing and catching things. It is one of the core principles of cricket, but normally uh, a cricket ball isn't something you worry about smashing, so let's see how they go. All right, here we go. Two metres. All right, five metres. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Safe as houses. Here we about, go, about 40 metres, no, probably 35 actually. Oh no. Yeah! Yes! <laughs> oh, okay, let's watch that in slow motion. Now you'll notice the further the guys are getting apart from each other, the more they have to move with the momentum of the egg to be able to catch it without smashing it. All right, we're at around about 45 metres now. We've got to get the throw right here. Let's see how we go. There it is. Yeah! Lovely pass, brother. The further apart the cricketers are, the more force they have to put into that throw at the start so that the egg or ball can make the distance. Now that also means the person on the other end of the throw has to take more acceleration and momentum into account when they're catching it. They have to give enough distance in their catch to slow down that momentum without smashing the egg or dropping the ball. All right, 55 metres. Oh, it's a dime! Yeah! <laughs> Touchdown! All right, we got 60 metres. Yeah, that's it. Yeah! <laughs> Woohoo! All right, roughly 70, 75 metres. This is as far as we can go, I reckon. Oh, it's good. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Tossing an egg between you and a teammate can actually be a really good training program when it comes to catching a ball for sport. Alrighty, um, we're just going to see what happens when we uh, throw an egg at a cricket bat and try and hit it really hard. Uh, hopefully it doesn't go all over me, but see how hard I can hit it. Now Isaac Newton tells us that when an object has momentum, it's moving in a certain direction, it wants to keep doing that until it comes into contact with something that's still. That could be a hand or even a cricket bat. At that point, you see a splat. And that's the result of something called inertia. Well, cricketers certainly know how to catch an egg without making a mess. And that's something you can try at home or at school. Just stand close to your partner throwing an egg or even a tennis ball or a golf ball back and forth between the two of you until one of you drops the ball or smashes the egg. Good luck. <laughs> 